Hello and welcome to the week's sports room. I'm Ruben Jo and today we will be talking to Spanish Uruguayan footballer Pedro Manzi. In the 2018-19 season of the I League, Manzi was the winner of the Golden Boot for his 21 goals and he was the star of the Chennai City team that won the league. He left the Chennai side in January 2020 for a record transfer to Japanese side Albirex Niigata. And after a year, he's back in India, having signed for Kolkata Giants Mohammedan Sporting. The club, which recently completed 130 years of its formation, has signed Manzi mid-season in a bid to seal a berth in the top six for the next stage of the shortened season. So check out the Star Striker's first interview since his return to India. Hello, Pedro. How, how are you doing today? Hello. I just finished the gym session, take shower, and now I have an interview with you. Okay. You had a good session today. I heard you had two training sessions today. Yes, today morning uh, training session with in the ground, okay. and now we have evening session at the. Evening. Okay, okay. So, uh, how, how does it feel uh, to be back in India and now playing in the I League? I feel so happy because I want to stay here. I when I play uh, two years before, uh, I was very happy. I won the title, and I scored many goals. Uh, this is the reason for come here because when I play in India, I feel so happy. Okay, okay. And uh, before we go to some football-related questions, uh, could you tell could you tell us a little bit about your your story about you know your time in Uruguay and then Spain before you came to India? Just a little bit. Uh, I was born in Uruguay. Uh, I start playing soccer when I have four or five years. I was very young, and then when I have uh, 10 years, I moved to Spain. I started playing in, in Spain uh, during eight more years. And when I have 18 years, I moved to my city, to other place. And I'm playing many, many cities in Spain, uh, in Barcelona, in Malaga, in some very big cities. And then when I was playing in Barcelona, I have the, the, the option to come to India. And for me, it's a very, very good experience, very good chance to play professional soccer because in Spain is semi-professional, no top professional. But when I come here, I play my first season uh, professional football in Chennai. It's very, very happy for me. It's a very big experience. That's nice. That's nice. And, and where, where is your family right now? Now it's in Gran Canaria. This is a small okay. island. In south of Spain. Okay, 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 okay. So, uh, what, what, let, what was your decision to take uh, football as a profession? Why? How did that happen? Oh, when I was young, I think uh, uh, my, because my father is a soccer coach, this coach, and he always uh, tried to 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 me because uh, he want to me uh, do sport in the future, but he don't he don't uh, he don't know. I I come to be professional. He always say, okay, you need to do sport because it's good for health. But uh, he tried to to put more more uh, interest in me for soccer. Mm -hmm. And when I decide decide uh, because when I was young, I play many many sports like basket basket tennis, uh, swimming pool, uh, many many sports. But when I was uh, eight, 15 years, he say. You need to de decide one only one sport because you now you want to be professional only in one. You cannot professional in all sports. And I decide uh, decide for soccer because I, I love soccer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you were saying, it uh, you were uh, relatively. Uh, it was a small league that you were playing there, but then when you came to India, you became a big star. You know that time it was uh, high league was India's top league also. So how was that feeling of becoming like a big star when you came to India for the first season? No, I I, I think I'm not a big star. I am just a soccer player. I, uh, um, the 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 star is the team, all team, mm -hmm. because only one player cannot win uh, one game because it's impossible. I feel so happy because my my teammates uh, receive me very very good. They are so friendly because he know me. I know uh, most of them. Mm -hmm. um, I'm so happy, but I don't feel like a star. I only 
normal normal person i don't know no but here in india you're considered a star because if you played so well that season you got 21 goals and all it is it was a really good uh, season if if i may ask you uh, one thing uh, pedro uh, you scored those 21 goals it was a really good season for you so if you were, if you look back now and if you think uh, what was that uh, what what is the factor that helped you uh, score so many goals and become such a uh, so successful in that season well, i think the the secret is the the work of all the team because i have uh, many players behind me who give me too many assistants like nestor gordillo na, like sandro yeah. like uh, edwin masfall like romario uh, this season um, some players uh, four or five players now they are playing in in another league because they play good another league they went to another they go to another league but Uh, I think the, this is the secret. The, the all the players playing behind me because they don't give me good assistant, I can't score. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you was uh, after your time at Chennai, you had gone to uh, Japan. But uh, I think in one interview you had said that it was a very strange season. You had called it. Why was that? Why was it a very strange season over there with uh, in Japan? Oh, I think. I think. Uh, The problem is COVID. COVID uh, make ba- very big uh, problem in all the world. Yeah. When I arrive, arrive in Japan, uh, I arrive on January and February, March, uh, COVID start and soccer stop. The, we have uh, three months only training. One month we cannot training because uh, COVID uh, um, lockdown. And then we have only the all season. Uh, in Japan is 10 months. but uh, we have only four 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 months half for play all the games is little bit strange and the the people in japan is so different they not not too much, not too friendly like in india but i'm it's good good experience but i feel better here in india <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, you mentioned uh, that the season was it was cut short because of COVID, right? So, as a professional footballer, for you, how was this uh, this entire pandemic? Did it affect you as a you know your training and your um, just generally as a footballer? How did it affect you? Yes, because when when I finish in in Japan, uh, I have um, now three or four months uh, without team because uh, when I finish in Japan in India. already start i cannot uh, come early and then i ha- i don't have chance to to sign in any team in in i league i still waiting but now i received the the offer for mohammedan uh, three weeks ago now i i am two weeks here in india yeah. i think at that time you had uh, before you came to india you had even expressed an interest to come back and play in i league uh, why was that why did you want to come back particularly to india Oh, because when I when I play in Chennai, I was very happy here. Uh, the, uh, the people I love the Indian people because they are so friendly. I have many many friends in Chennai. And I feel happy in India. This uh, for me, this is my second home. Yeah, and and you you picked uh, Mohammedan Sporting, which is a which is a very reputable club also. So, uh, what was uh, what was the factor the uh, that led you to pick Mohammedan Sporting? Uh, is there any particular uh, challenge or a project that you were interested in yes they, they have good project they, when i when i signed the contract with mohammedan uh, we are uh, in the in the three of the top uh, of the table now we after two games we we lose but now we need to continue working to finish in the sixth uh, in the sixth top on the table for for classificate for the second round for uh, for me is uh, very good challenge because I, i i tell you uh three months four months no no don't have team now i have good challenge to to win the the trophy two times it's a good challenge for me yeah yeah but unfortunately the first the first match was a 3-0 defeat and uh, and also the coach had also left after that was it a, was that first week a difficult time for you the first few days yes is is very very difficult because when i ar- arrive in india i stay nine days in quarantine it's mm-hmm. so hard 
uh, after two after nine days only training two 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 days and then play 90 minutes is so hard because I don't understand why play two o'clock p.m. is uh, very very hot and it's so difficult for me because I I cannot training inside in the room it's impossible. Yeah. And then yeah. we we have we, we don't play we don't play really good we we don't play good again ISO and we lose. Mm-hmm. And the previous match we lost also again with Indian Arrows. Mm-hmm. I watched the game in the room. Uh, we, we have chance to score, but this is soccer. <laughs> so how did it feel, you know, finally getting back on the pitch after so many months? Oh, I I was very happy. I feel very happy because I, I love play soccer. I love uh, uh, the competition. I I want to score many goals, and this is my my life in the football. <laughs> yeah, and and in the in the second game, it was a good uh, victory also for Mohammed in that you could come back and uh, and play and beat your old team also Chennai. How how did that feel? Oh, it was a special game for me because I played in Chennai before and I have many players play together with me. It's a uh, I can I can't score I want but I have two two clear chance but I cannot score but yeah. no problem because the the team the win three points this is uh, the objective the three points no me is only score maybe next next game I'm not worried about this and uh, you've had a few training sessions now after your quarantine ended and everything and uh, now you're getting to uh, train with uh, the current coach also mr shankar la chakraborty so how is that going on now are you are you enjoying the training sessions is it is it good to be around yes now we are uh, we are having a little bit uh, pre season <laughs> in the half of the of the season we are uh, running too much <laughs> but it's good it's good for me because i only training two weeks uh, ago it's good for me for take more uh, physically condition and i i am enjoying with with the coach i know he i know he before when he is coach from mumbagan in two years yeah. ago and i we understand very 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 good okay yeah so you you talking about uh, it is a special game for you to play against chennai and all. so what what are some of your best memories from your time at chennai oh, my best memory when we when we win the last game against minerva punjab and won the title i fell on the on the ground and start crying but it's a happiness happiness crying no because we we fin- finally we win the title uh, it's very very difficult because east bengal is only one point one point down uh, this this for me this is the very special moment in, in india yeah I, I I remember watching that match also, and I could see all all the emotions that were coming out. Everybody, uh, especially on the on the bench, and all everybody was celebrating and all that. How how did your family feel at that time? You know that you that you won a title, and all. did they tell you anything at that time? Oh, they they are very happy with me because I am I am uh, I am playing here. I am, this is my dream play professional soccer, uh, but they are happy. Um, I, I am now uh, 10,000 kilometers from my house, but this is my dream. They are, they support me because it's my dream. They are very happy. And uh, I think you had a good uh, a working relationship also with uh, Mr. Akbar Nawaz, wasn't it? And he was uh, he was somebody who had this concept of playing. That he called it thinking football. Is that uh, that and that one the one Chennai the league also is that is that kind of thinking football something that you also like because you know you are from Spain and, and uh, Spanish football is a possession football is is that kind of football is that something that you also prefer? Yes, he when when we start the first training, the the Indian players don't know this philosophy because uh, they are very young, they don't have experience. But uh, Akbar make very big, very big job because he changed the mind and try to keep the ball, pass, 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 take uh, ball possession. I think Akbar is uh, very good coach and special coach for me. I have good re- relation with him because he is very good person also. Yeah. Uh, 
think uh, speaking about that uh, pedro what is your uh, pers- i mean personally when you think about it what is your philosophy of football of how football should be played oh i like the, this philosophy like uh, barcelona like manchester city i i like this uh, my team have the ball have long possession play creative soccer uh, beautiful soccer and try to score many many goals for for game and try to win all games this is my philosophy are you a fan of uh, pep guardiola yes of course this is, for me is the best coach in the history of the of the football oh that's nice nice to hear that okay um so uh, what what are your observations now of uh, you talk you spoke about your uh, philosophy of football in there now when you see when you come to a club like uh, mohammedan right now what are your observations of the team and the whole setup over here at mohammedan uh, difficult because we have uh, the another coach one week before now now we have another coach with another philosophy now we are uh, working more in 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 defense because uh, first game we uh, received three goals against Saison now we are focused on on defending then uh, the first week now the, we are training uh, more attacking soccer uh, because we have the the very big final this uh, sunday against kasmish and we need we need or we have to win if we want to classify uh, for me is very very difficult game because uh Kashmir is very strong uh, team but in soccer also uh, in soccer all is possible we can i think we we can win this game of and, course and and how do you hope to impact uh, impact this team now now that uh, they have played this many games so far and then there's a crucial game coming up now and also uh, if we win that then you're into the next group stage also which will also i mean the next stage which uh now mohammedan still has a chance of winning the title so how do you hope to impact this team oh i think i i impact with, because i i am helping the team uh, uh, in the in the attacking uh, attacking of the of the team because the the team need to score many goals uh, me no score last game but i help to the team for score with with uh, take the ball pass the ball or like this Okay. okay and uh, you'd mentioned you know the real kashmir game is on sunday it, uh, kashmir is now second in the table it is a big game definitely a big game for uh, uh, the team so uh, w- what are the plans for you know to counter uh, real kashmir oh this is uh, our final because we we need to to take the ball uh, have long possession creative football uh, create uh, chance and uh, the first the first objective is our our clean sheet uh, we need we don't uh, need to concede uh, any goals and if we don't concede any goal i think we can score one or two or any goals or for win the the game but we are focusing in in set pieces because uh, kashmir is very strong in set pieces and corner and we are focused on on this okay uh in that uh, in that game against uh, uh in your return game against aizol uh, aizol uh, uh, i have noticed that in the first half especially the, there was a little bit of uh, i think uh, there was a little bit of frustration is it for you because there was i think you made three fouls in the first half or so uh, was there some frustration of that uh, game in that game yes because i i my physically is not good i can i can run too much and i receive some fouls or so and the uh, referee don't 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 say so is a little bit frustration because this i i cannot run i cannot uh, help the team but now uh, i am i am improving my my physically and now no more frustrating <laughs> okay okay so so what are your, what are your future plans pedro you uh, you uh, you're 32 right am, am i right you're 32 right now Yes, certainly. Yeah, so uh, what what are your future uh, plans class, like do you want to I, continue playing in India or uh, what what is uh... Yes, of course. I I want to continue playing in India uh more 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 years. Uh I don't know when my career finish, but uh when you is the injuries respect me, I can continue playing many years. Uh if in India, of course I very happy here. 
That's nice. And uh, you've been you've played uh, almost one and a half seasons, and now you're playing a third season in India. So, uh, what what are your observations about Indian football? Oh, they are. Uh, in, when I was here, uh, the, the the soccer uh, is improving. Now I I feel the soccer is improving more and more fast because the level of the league this season is more strong. The when I was playing Chennai, only two games, two teams are strong. Uh, uh, fighting for the title uh, is Bengal and Chennai. But this season, you you can see Kashmir, uh, Churchill, uh, uh, Punjab. Uh, have many many teams uh, for in the top of the table in in the same the same point. I think the now is more more strong the the competition. Okay. Uh, I just want to ask, uh, just like just say it as a scenario. So suppose you've come to India as a manager. And you have seen, uh, you know, you have played in Spain for so long, and you've seen a lot of Spanish football. If if you as a manager were to bring some particular, uh, you know, implement some particular change in, in a club in India, or say in Indian football, uh, that especially for a developing nation like India, right? So what will that one? Uh, is there any idea or any change that you would bring to India out of your experience in Spain? <laughs> I I don't have uh, my plan. For be manager in my in my future, I don't like manager. Oh, you don't <laughs> like being manager. Uh, very very no, because it's for me. It's, I think it's very hard uh, work because you uh, mentality need to mo- very big strong very strong because you need to to have uh, too much passion to 30, 30 players. I, I I cannot control. <laughs> okay. Uh, just uh, uh, just to finish off, just some uh, some short questions for you, just uh, related to your own personal preference and all. Uh, so, who's your who's your favorite player in the world? Diego Forlan. He played here in in India many yeah. years ago. <laughs> uh, why why Forlan? Because he's from Uruguay and me also. <laughs> okay, so uh, you, you don't have similar it's feelings like for you don't have similar feelings for like Cavani or Suarez or anything. Yeah, now now Cavani and Suarez they are top the striker, but for me uh, Diego Forlan is the best. <laughs> the 2010 World Cup, especially, right? Yes, uh, South Africa. Yeah. Okay, and uh, who who's your favorite manager? Guardiola. Guardiola. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, we discussed that. Okay, good to know that. Uh, who who's the best uh, best teammate that you've ever played with? My best teammate, I think Sandro. He's uh, not my teammate. He's my close friend. We play many years in Spain together. We we have good relationship. Uh, Sandro Rodriguez is my best teammate and friend. Okay, okay. Good to hear that. And uh, who's the best opponent that you have faced? The best opponent. For example, in in I League, I remember uh, Kingsley when I played with him in Mumbagan. He's very strong defender. <laughs> he kicked me many times. <laughs> we fight, but now we are uh, playing the same team. I prefer this in my team, not in opponent. <laughs> okay, okay. And uh, your last question. Uh, I mean, my last question for you: uh, Who is your uh, pick for the next World Cup winner? Maybe Germany. For me, Germany now we have the the best team. Germany or France? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Pedro. Thank you so much uh, for your time. It was a good interaction. Hope uh, and wish yeah, you all the best also you. for the rest of the season. Hopefully, Mohammedan Mohammedan will get to the next round and also maybe win the league. Thank you very much. <laughs>